So Christmas came and went, and now you got yourself a little open spot too to play with and learn how to use. Well, regardless of if you got it as a gift or you gifted it to yourself, uh, stick around. We're going to talk about the open spot too in detail, and this time we're going to talk about how to hook it up to your iPhone and your Wi-Fi automatically. This time on K6 UDA Radio. All right, my friends, welcome to the first in my mini series on the Open Spot 2, and these are going to be short little deep dives on how to make this thing run and how to make it do exactly what you want it to do. Uh, but first, I want you to hit that subscribe button and the little bell notification right underneath. And please give it the thumbs up if you think this thing was helpful, if you think this video was helpful. Oh, uh, let's see. And uh, I can't think of anything else. Ah, yes. These videos are going to be a little bit raw. I'm trying to do them in one take pretty much. And so there's not going to be any, there's not going to be much in the way of editing at all. So um, with that, uh, let's jump into our workspace here. And... Uh, you'll see on the, what do we got here? Uh, okay, we'll get rid of those. On the uh, right side of the screen, you have the uh, web browser with the open spot status pages up. Uh, I'm up at the top here and my iPhone is connected below me. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and hit the camera. My open spot two is sitting here and you can see that that's hooked up. We're going to be using the Yaesu uh, FT2 as our demonstration radio today. I've also got two other open spots hooked up, one on D-Star, one on DMR, and I have uh, this guy, the uh, ID5100, is up on D-Star and my local repeater. We're not going to deal so much today. We're not going to deal at all with the old open spots. But suffice it to say, I've got three of them running in the shack at all times on three different frequencies. And I've kind of got everything. I got my own, my own wheels turning for... All this stuff. So anyway, uh, today we are going to deep dive into how to get this open spot two in front of me uh, to automatically hook up between your home Wi-Fi and your iPhone. I don't have an Android phone, so I can't teach you how to do the Android thing, uh, but I'm pretty sure it's almost exactly the same. This is very easy to do and to start off with we're going to go over here to our network page. Now on the network page here in, uh, in the software this is actually the address right here right up in here and I think my cursor might might show, maybe not. Okay, cursor's not showing on there, but up at the top of the uh, up at the top of the screen there, you'll see the network status page. It's openspot 2local That's what you type in to get into everything. In the network page, we're going to see we are connected to the CUDA net, which is my home network. And if we go down here, 
Uh, we'll see all kinds of other stuff. Everything, almost everything is left in the default configuration. I haven't changed much on here. If you take out, if you unclick the advanced button down in the lower right hand corner, it comes up and it only gives you a few options. So click the advanced mode and it's going to bring up the wireless settings page. Now the first thing you're going to want to do is scan for new networks. Scan for your networks. And these are the networks that show up here. So my iPhone is not showing up right now. So what I'm going to do is go in to my iPhone. I'm going to turn my personal hotspot on and I'm going to rescan. And now the iPhone comes right up in there. If this is your first time hooking up to it, go ahead and connect to your iPhone or your Android phone and then you'll be able to uh, you'll be able to go ahead and configure that and put that in. Actually, you don't even need to connect to it right now. So don't connect to it at the moment. We're going to uh, we're going to go back over here. Uh, you'll notice that I had to be in that hotspot page. The hotspot page had to be open for this thing to connect. So anytime you want to connect your OpenSpot 2 to the iPhone, you're going to have to open the personal hotspot uh, page. So <clears throat> I have my SSID number, which is right down here on number one, and that is set to CUDANET, which is my main Wi-Fi network. I have the access uh, the access password and I include the base SSID number which is that number that comes up with all your Wi-Fi stuff. Under SSID 2, my iPhone, all I've plugged in is the iPhone name, the SSID name, not the number underneath. I left that blank and I left my uh, password, I put my password in there. You're going to hit save and then in your settings page you want to create a, uh, a profile. I have created my home profile and my mobile profile. The mobile profile all that has is my uh, is my phone in it. So if I'm using that primarily out of the motorhome or something I can take this with me and it'll just hook up to that. It's not gonna, it's not gonna give me any fuss or any muss. So let's go back over here to the status page. Put the camera back on, and you'll see that the open spot is on. We're gonna come up here to the router and I'm gonna turn the router off. Those two have now just disconnected. This one is about ready to disconnect. Open spot disconnected. And now it's looking for Wi-Fi. You could see that it is blinking blue and yellow because it's trying to connect. So let's go back in here and we open up we're going to open that up over there. Open spot Wi-Fi disconnected. And the Wi-Fi is disconnected. But let's give it a minute here and it's going to come back up because we're on the uh, hotspot access page here. Okay, so we are back connected on the uh, from the phone here. 
and bring that back up. The open spot is connected up to there. If you want to use your web browser, I can, uh, I can actually go in here and pull up my web browser. That's going to now come up and that will control everything on the iPhone. It is connected. It will show that it's connected there. And the, uh, the reflector, I've put it, purposely put it on a low traffic reflector so I wouldn't get a lot of traffic, but I could change that off to whatever I want. <clears throat> I'll key up the radio. And that shows you that I'm in. Now you'll notice that the big screen is blank. If I go in here and hook up the big screen to my um, oh, and somebody's calling me. And I'm not going to answer him right now. Let's go in here and let's refresh this. So now both screens are working. I've got no traffic there. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and switch on the camera. And I'm gonna switch the uh, router back on maybe and the router's coming back up that'll come up in a minute the old open spots they are doing their doing their thing and they're going to start booting up here in just a second we'll go ahead and put that back on the uh, status page. I have full control over the open spot too now from my iPhone because I'm hooked up to it. But in a minute, I'm going to go back in and unlink that. So that'll come up in just a minute. I'm going to go here and disconnect from my hotspot, close that out. <clears throat> and the open So now open spot disconnected. So now the open spot 2 has disconnected from the uh, from my iPhone it's looking for a new connection so it's again it's blinking blue and yellow let me steady that camera up for you and I'm just gonna sit here and wait for a minute Open spot. Wi -Fi disconnected. so the Wi-Fi is disconnected it's looking for a Wi-Fi in a minute here, it'll probably, yep, there it goes. Open spot connected to YSF reflector 41300. And that's it. That's how you go from your, uh, from your home Wi-Fi to your iPhone Wi-Fi, your hotspot there on your phone, and back again. And it did it all automatically. Oh, let's see. Um, now, to bring this all back up, let's open up this. We'll open up the, uh, the connector here on the phone. That re-engages the connector uh, on the web portal from the home network. Now, everything is back up. And... I'm not going to key the radio up again. But anyway, 
Guys, uh, that is it. That's how you do it. No fuss, no muss. Uh, go ahead and try that. Again, uh, if this video was helpful to you, if, uh, if you liked it, please give it the thumbs up. And if you haven't already hit the subscribe button by now, do that. It doesn't cost you anything. Uh, I would very much appreciate it, though, if you did visit my, uh, well, <laughs> if you hit me up on PayPal and, uh, and you kicked in a buck, you know, there's lots of photography gear here, lighting, all kinds of stuff that I need to use and I need to keep, keep up to, uh, to put out. <laughs> anyway, guys, uh, that's it. That's all I got. Hope you enjoyed this video. Let's keep the uh, conversation going. Uh, leave a comment below and uh, let me know what other things, what other subjects within the Open Spot workshop we need to cover. And we'll, uh, I'll try to get a video out on those and we'll, uh, we'll get you all up and running on the Open Spot 2 with minimal fuss, minimal muss. Uh, this thing is very, very easy to use. Anyway, thanks for joining me. I know this video was long. It kind of was a little bit of a deep dive. I was trying to keep it as short as I can. That's all I got. I'm out of here. I'm Bob, K6UDA, 7-3.